review of the USS Enterprise B, as seen in Star Trek Generations. The more I look at this ship, the more I think the the B is my favorite, sorry, second favorite Enterprise. Um, I don't know, I've, I've always enjoyed this design. Something about it just looks sleek yet menacing, kind of slightly bird of prey-ish. Um, it's a bit long. Let's uh, quick pop up the Enterprise A, the refit, or I guess it's not the refit, it's the A. Um, I guess, of course you can't see because this setup is ridiculous. There we go. The B is a bit longer than the A, inch or so. Um, this ship is gorgeous. This is the first release of this ship. I think it has been reissued in the last couple of years. I don't even remember how long I've had it. Three or four years, maybe? Um, anyway, it's got a great light blue detailing in a number of places. Uh, paint along the saucer edge. There's actually several discrete bits that don't all line up very well, but I was only just made aware of this this week when somebody got their theirs and posted pictures and complained about it, but I had never noticed before. It's not particularly noticeable unless you're looking for it. I like the detail on the saucer. There's all these lines are sculpted. This is all sculpted. It doesn't have the Aztecing that the A does. Um, this back here is not sculpted either, but it's tampoed on or some such pretty cleanly. Um, well, what was like this ship? There is a fun thing with the pendant here on the side. Let's see if this camera can zoom in enough to see that. I can barely see it in real life. I don't know how well it's coming across on the camera, but it says USS, oh, there we go, USS Excelsior. Because sometimes Diamond Select is less careful than I would like. The Enterprise B is a refit of the Excelsior class. And they did issue the Excelsior originally around the same time as the B, if I, if I recall correctly. Um, so when it was originally issued, it says Excelsior on the side. They did, I think, probably make decals available that you could call them and they'd send them to you. I probably never did because I can barely read it. Certainly only if I'm looking super close at it, so who cares. But it's something to be aware of if you're picky. You know, the, the registry number is correct on the nacelles. It's 1701B. So I don't care if it says Excelsior. Anyway, this is a sweet looking little ship. Not so little. Um, the stand is somewhat improved upon from the stand from the A and the Enterprise in that it's got two, two supports finally. So it's not nearly, it's not wobbly, unlike this one, which has but the one and is wobbly. This, not nearly so wobbly. Um, it does have the same ball joint, ball jointed cap that the, you know, I think I have that on backwards. Uh, as you can see, it's sloped a little bit. And yet, it's also stepped. And that's how the thing is. So I did not have it in backwards. It just looks like it. Um, anyway. Can't put it in straight from that distance. There we go. Um, anyway, so the paint on this is pretty good. I like all the windows painted on the sides. Oh, look at that. There's some light blue and cream Aztec you know, on the saucer. Let's see if we can... Lights and sounds. Um, oh, I was talking about the stand. This socket, or this ball joint, is really snug. I haven't had the problems with this one that I've had with every other stand for a Diamond Select Enterprise in that it's just floppy. This one holds. It will hold wherever I put it. Where I want it is where it's going. That's, you know, one out of, how many do I have? Seven? And I, people on forums that have talked and complained about it, 
have more. I don't have the the Excelsior. I only have the B. Some people have all of them. Every version, every reissue, and pretty much everybody complains about the stands. Anyway, let's look at the lights and sounds. This ship lights up beautifully. I mean, I've got two lamps on here, plus an overhead light, and those LEDs shine. They don't just Excuse me. They don't diffuse through the nacelle very well, but you can tell they're on. If we were to uh, turn that down a little bit, you get even better. So we've got lights up here on the whatever that is. We've got the nacelles that light up, and the collectors. We've got impulse engines, and does the. Uh, yeah, the deflector dish down there lights up. So this ship has a lot of lights. Oh, this one has, I think, there we go, has a lights on feature. I should have done that. Um, rather than turning these off all the way, let's just kind of point them somewhere else to not get the yellow light of the overhead glaring too much. Eh, this is not working. Let's turn off another light. Um, there we go. Not so yellow now. Just, I, this ship looks cool, lit up. I love it. Um, looks like the camera is picking up the the LED a little too brightly. This is actually a very deep red in person. That light diffuses really well. It doesn't look like it's doing so on camera. Um, but that, these are a nice dark red. I like it. Um, turning off all of the lights. Most of all the lights. Anyway, you can just see it lights up gorgeous. And it just looks cool. It features sounds and voice clips from Star Trek Generations. Right? Is it just Generations? I hope I'm not making a fool of myself by not remembering correctly. I'm Captain John Harriman. Captain John Harriman. And of course, Admiral Kirk. Captain Kirk. I'd be honored oh, you Captain Kirk. To get Whatever he is. Take us out. We're picking up a distress call, Captain. Helm, lay in an intercept course and engage at maximum warp. Just whoa, washed out, super bright. Um, anyway, um, Risk is part of the game. You want to sit in that chair. so I love this one so much that I'm actually very tempted to go back and pick up the Excelsior, which I think was just reissued. It's pretty minorly different. I think it doesn't have the fins on the nacelles, and that's basically the only difference. I don't remember, I'm not up on my Excelsior class. Um, designs, but this one is pretty solid. There is no no gapping that kind of existed on the other ships that I was talking about earlier, especially the A. The, the paint is all pretty super solid. It does have a bit of a dirty wash in places that people complained about. It was it was really thick on some instances. I don't know if you can see it. It, it kind of looks like it was touched with somebody with wet, dirty wet hands and just left just little smudges. Mine's not too bad though. Some people complained a lot about it. Like this was really bad. Mine's not. I'm really happy with the ship. This, I believe, was the last Enterprise I bought. The last Diamond Select ship I bought until just this week when I got the A. I mean, it was a good note to end on. This one's a really solid release. At least in my experience. Um, it's definitely worth checking out if you can get the Excelsior or the Enterprise B. Oh, the Enterprise, the, uh, the other reason I want the Excelsior is because I believe it features voice clips from Undiscovered Country. Captain Sulu and, you know, Undiscovered Country is the second best Star Trek film, so. Anyway, um, Enterprise B, it's a good ship. Buy it. Thanks for watching.